Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another Love is Blind Season 6, Episode 5, Reaction slash Recap. I was really surprised by how many people enjoyed the format of my last recap because I decided to mix things up a little bit and just add in some of my reactions because I felt like especially when the couples met each other for the first time, it would be more fun to react to it than to say how I reacted to it and a lot of you guys enjoyed it so I'm gonna do that again for this recap however I do have to admit it was such a pain in the ass to edit the last video because of copyright I think I had to upload it and re-edit maybe about seven to eight times uh, but yeah without further ado let's get into love is blind season six episode five so it's finally time for Jimmy and Trevor to propose to Chelsea and we were wondering who would Chelsea choose well she chose Jimmy there's no real way to prep for something like this what <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because we all know what he's thinking. He's thinking he's proposing to Megan Fox. And I've been reading your comments and some of you guys are saying that you think Chelsea purposely told Jimmy that she looked like Megan Fox so that he would choose her. Now, I never thought of that. I never thought she would actually deliberately do that because like I said, she would be setting herself up for failure. Why would you put that expectation on him only for him to be disappointed after. And that's not to say again, that is not to say she's not attractive. She's a very gorgeous, beautiful girl. But I never thought of it that way that maybe in that moment, she was only focused on winning. She wanted him to choose her. Chelsea, I love you. I love every bit of every conversation we've ever had. I love the way you love me. I love the way you make me feel. I love the life that you painted a picture. I'm not good at this stuff, by the way. Yeah, clearly, we know. We know you suck at communicating. I love that you've been willing to go at my pace and have been so understanding for sort of all of our obstacles along the way. Mm -hmm. What obstacles? I love that I can come to you and talk to you no matter the mood I'm in. Because you're Megan Fox, all I say is Megan Fox and Me Megan Fox is so hot. And I really, really want to have a hot girlfriend like Megan Fox. That's, that's all I hear. I'm so excited to start a life with you and grow Megan a family Fox. and build a future together. Megan Fox. Chelsea. Megan Fox. <laughs> Will you start. marry me? <laughs> oh my god, not again. Girl, get the freak up. Why does she keep falling to the floor? By the way, I loved Chelsea. I loved her. And now she's just so freaking annoying to me. Ugh. But again, remember, we're just talking about the people that are being portrayed on a reality TV show. I'm sure she's a lovely person in real life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will a thousand percent marry you. Oh! <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Damn, they really, really love each other. He really loves her. Wow, wow, wow. They love each other so much. I can't wait for them to meet and just continue their love. Really could care less what you look like. Oh, 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 okay. So even if she doesn't look like Megan Fox, you're not gonna care, okay? Let's remember what Jimmy said, everybody. He does not care what she looks like because he loves her so damn much. Oh my gosh. Oh you my okay? gosh. No. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you. I'm gonna It's a happy day, Chelsea. It's a happy day. I love you so much. Love you, Chelsea. Oh Holy crap, how many times did they tell each other that they love them? Wow, I really can't wait until they meet because they're just going to love each other so much more. Can't wait to see you. Bye. They were both so happy, screaming, so excited. They could not wait until they met face to face. Then it was time for Chelsea to go into the pod with Trevor and she breaks up with him and it was so freaking sad you guys my heart broke a million times because trevor was so sweet and chelsea was a hot mess she was crying and crying and crying hello hi hi how are you i'm good how are you oh he's so nervous 
he's trying to listen to like try to get her vibe to see how she's sounding you know you are just a phenomenal person and oh um, god you would fit into my life so perfectly and so well i've really struggled with my emotions obviously you know that yeah oh no he knows he knows he knows positive no. is it going this way or are you just building up suspense oh no he thinks it might be a fake out oh I can't. I can't. Let me put some lipstick on. <laughs> I can't. I can't give you all of me right now. Oh. Oh my God. I felt it in my heart. I felt, I felt the heartbreak. I felt Trevor's heartbreak because we are one, you know, we are connected like that. So I felt it. Are you giving it all to someone else? <laughs> Yes. That you're sure that'll make you happiest? No, oh, Trevor. Do you have a reason why? No, I don't. Oh, God. Like, if that's what makes you happy, then I'm happy for you, but I don't understand it. How would things have gone if I came here and just started talking and gave you the speech I had in my head? Oh, oh my God, Trevor. Oh, my heart. Oh my goodness, where's my inhaler? Oh, I can't breathe. I don't even use an inhaler, but I feel like I need one. Oh my goodness. I had a good speech too. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I wanna cry. I wanna cry, he's so sweet. I'm, I know you did. And I know that you would be, be such a good husband. If I went first, would you have said yes to me? Oh shit, that's a really good question. What if she just wanted to get chosen? So she would have said yes to just whoever was first because if he went first, well, she already knew that Jimmy dumped Jessica, so hmm. But let's say she didn't know that Jimmy dumped Jessica, okay? Let's just say she went first, like her date with Trevor went before Jessica's date with Jimmy. And if Trevor had proposed, would she have said yes? Because if she said no, then she would be gambling with Jimmy because she wouldn't have known if Jimmy would have dumped Jessica or chosen her. That would have been so interesting. And at one point, Trevor had to comfort her. When his heart got broken, he was thinking about her and trying to make her feel better. And I was like, oh my God, Chelsea, shut up. Get yourself together and properly end this and like leave so that he can get some privacy. But she just lingered and she was crying and crying and crying and crying. And he was just sitting there like trying to make her feel better. I felt so bad for him. It's okay. <laughs> She should be the one comforting him. Oh. God, I hope my neighbors can't hear me right now. I just couldn't give you all of me. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Like, that, this is life. <laughs> Trevor, stop. I'm happy for you two. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That inhaler. I need that inhaler. I tapped my bracelet about a hundred times today. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know why I did, I did not expect to be heartbroken. I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm so optimistic. I like didn't, I didn't think of that as an option. Well, I don't want to walk out there crying. So I'm just going to sit here for a while. <sighs> but you can go. Chelsea. Oh my God. Could you spare him? Like think about him for once. Like. I, I try to do something to make him comfortable a little bit. Like, leave the room so I can go in. I, I just need you to know how hard it was for me. We don't care. That literally makes things worse. Like, stop trying to make yourself feel better. Do him a solid and go. Bye, Chelsea. 
<gasps> Wait, why am I so affected by this? It's cause I love him. Just kidding, just kidding. Oh my God, I feel, I feel like a psychotic bitch. Then it was time for Jeremy to either propose to Laura or Sarah Ann. And I had thought that he was gonna propose to Sarah Ann because she was the woman that he asked to visit his father's grave with. But to my surprise, he proposed to Laura and she was very happy. I loved her green dress. It was so beautiful, stunning. And Sarah Ann was very composed, very gracious. And I felt like she was kind of like putting on an act because she's so aware of social media. She has a big presence on Instagram and TikTok. And I feel like she definitely wants to be on Netflix's good side and the audience's good side so that she can keep her career on social media and keep coming back on Netflix and more reality shows. That's just the vibe that I got. It was finally time for Jimmy and Chelsea to meet face to face. And holy shit, I was clenching my ass so hard that I thought I was going to pop a blood vessel. I was so nervous for this meetup, way more than I was uh, nervous about Clay and AD meeting. It was so brutal and it was so painful. It was the longest meetup ever. I felt like time was going by so freaking slow. All right, let's watch it together, shall we? She checks every box I've ever looked for. And wow. today's when I get to see her. Today is when I get to see my wife. Guys, <laughs> I gotta care. <laughs> the love of your life. That's like the third time I've, I've called her my wife already. I'm jumping the gun. My opinion prior to coming here was looks are important. There needs to be a, a pretty decent level of attraction. This process has sort of changed my opinion on that a bit. I've you know what, maybe he's right. Maybe he really is changed and he will get over the fact that she doesn't look like Megan Fox and that she is a gorgeous, gorgeous girl on her own. And after all, she is the girl that he fell in love with. She is a girl that he emotionally connected with on a level he has never done before. And like he said in his very own words, she's checked off every single box of his. I've never been more sure that just that <gasps> Jessica. What? Oh, shit. That was a Freudian slip. Okay. All right. Okay. I've never been more sure that Chelsea is someone that I can literally talk to about anything. Guys, I feel like I look for these little petite girls. I'm tall, I'm a little thicker. Jimmy said, I don't care what you look like. I do not care what you look like. I wanna make myself clear, okay? Let me say this again, Chelsea. I know I'm making fun of this whole Megan Fox situation, but that is not saying Chelsea is not an attractive person. She is gorgeous. She's beautiful, okay? And Jimmy, he ain't no prize, okay? But I, it's just, oh, she really shot herself in the foot by saying that Megan Fox comment. That's all I'm saying. I hope it goes well. I hope that he's able to look past it and he can see her for her and, you know, they can connect and love each other and all that good stuff. Oh my God, wait, 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 I'm not ready. Let me drink another sip of water. Okay. I can't, I can't run, I can't run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, girl. Oh. Here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did you see his face? Okay, let's just watch this and then we'll rewind and rewatch. Okay, hold on. <gasps> be gorgeous. It wouldn't matter anyways, but. It wouldn't matter anyways? Why are you saying that? What? What? <laughs> Why is he saying that?
<laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're good. I wanted to pass out. Are you happy? I'm so okay. happy. <laughs> look at you. Girl, work it. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so handsome. Oh, she's so cute. He's like not giving anything. Like, hello. Are you excited too? You're so handsome. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I actually like thought that you were lying to me for a little bit because I it, I got in my head. You're surprised I'm not tattooed from. Not that, but like other things. About. Lying about what? About what she looked like, Megan Fox? I'm so happy. I don't want to let you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see his face? He couldn't keep up the act anymore. He just had to relax for a second and he was like, I'm so happy. I don't want to. <laughs> Secondhand embarrassment. What? <laughs> to go. <laughs> He's trying to get. He doesn't want to be here anymore. He's so mad that this isn't Megan Fox. It's been, this last couple days have been like a lot. Why are you talking about the last couple days? Who cares? The love of your life is right in front of you. Who cares about the last couple days? I really thought a lot this morning about what I wanted. And like, yeah. I almost went home this morning. Not what? In He almost went home? No, you didn't, you freaking liar. Why would you go home this morning before meeting the love of your life? That makes no sense. How are you feeling now? <laughs> He's trying to process his emotions right now because this isn't Megan Fox. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. You are? Happy. Okay. Oh, okay. Chelsea. Oh my God, she's breaking my heart. See, she doesn't deserve this. You're gorgeous. Is it what you expected? Um. The... <laughs> <laughs> she definitely, she definitely lied to me on some uh, how she looked. Chelsea told me oh. she looked like Megan Fox. I Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Remember in my last recap when I said, from here on, all he's gonna imagine in his head is Megan Fox every single time he thinks about Chelsea, talks to her, goes on a date with her. He's seeing Megan Fox in his head and this confirms it. All he thought about was Megan Fox. Wow, I feel so bad for her. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm very You're excited sure? to her. I, I can work with that. I can work with that? If my man said that about me, I can work with that? Uh-uh, mm-mm, his balls would be in a blender. Love you for who you are. I'm, I am, I'm so freaking out. Did you guys hear that? He was like, <laughs> he like couldn't even get it out. He was like, I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> It's so painful. Now it's time for vacation in the Dominican Republic. Ooh, ooh, so excited. They sit down inside their hotel and they talk about their last date. And he was like, by the way, I have a bone to pick with you. I thought you weren't gonna tell anybody that I told you that I loved you. And then he brought up Jessica. I don't know why she's out of the picture and they're on their mini honeymoon. Like, why are you bringing up Jessica? What do you mean? Like she told me that I'll like be holding my breath when I see what she looks like, you know. I just don't understand why he's bringing this up. Well, you know, you're gonna see her. I could say I can't wait to to get there, but oh. I can't wait. <laughs> you're pretty good looking. Mm. You look good. Thanks. She's gorgeous. It's only like you're happy. 
Mm-hmm. I'm really happy. Mm-hmm. It's time for Jimmy and Chelsea to get ready for bed. So they brush their teeth together and uh, they get in bed. And I'm not really feeling any chemistry between the two until the very end. <laughs> but then... <laughs> There was a point when she asked him, what was the first thing you noticed about me when we met face to face? And he says, your big square white teeth. Some people think it's a diss, but you have like big square white teeth. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's not the answer she was looking for. No girl wants to hear that. Like the first thing you noticed about me was my big ass white square teeth. Like, thanks. He should have just said her smile. I loved your smile. I noticed I your noticed eyes. It. I noticed your teeth. That is a good answer. I oh noticed your pretty eyes. Cringe. That was a nice answer. I said your pretty teeth. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is so awkward. I can't, this is so awkward. Can we like, okay, let's just speed this up. It's almost over. Okay. Do you still like me? Yeah. Do you still feel like <clears throat> the same way that you did in the pod still? Yeah. Are you sure? Feeling like, like not a doubt in my mind. Mm. She's unsure. It was pretty obvious that Chelsea was growing more and more insecure. She kept asking him, do you still like me? Do you like me? Do you like me as much as you liked me in the pods? Are you sure? I feel like it's because she can feel his energy. It's so, it's off. Something's off, you know? But the- When you know, you know. Did you like me more in the pods than you do now? No, I, I love you and I love being with you. Every single day we go on, I love you more. As long as you don't feel different. Did you catch that face that he made? He was like, <sighs> Flies, you don't feel different. Right there, right there. Different. I'm really happy with you. Oh, oh, so, okay. I love you. I love you. And I think you were absolutely gorgeous. You look absolutely stunning tonight. Aww. You look absolutely stunning today. So remember how earlier I was just saying that maybe some people need to process it, like get their expectations and what they imagined in their heads out of their brain. And then like, yeah, I think that's, maybe what's happening with Jimmy right now. So now he's like, okay, no more Megan Fox. Like, I love Chelsea, Chelsea's beautiful. And maybe that's what he's going through right now. You have pretty big green, blue, gray eyes. <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to call you mine. I'm so happy I get to hold you tonight. I'm so, so happy I told you. Damn, damn, what an episode. Holy shit. I feel like I just went on a freaking roller coaster. I did feel like by the end of that episode, when Jimmy was trying to reassure her and give her validation, that did come from a genuine place. Well, that pretty much wraps up episode five of Love is Blind. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I definitely want to know what you thought of Jimmy and Chelsea. All right, you guys, have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.